Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Nova, and I'm back with a Mermail deck profile. I know I've been promising that since I was like opening up all these tins and stuff. So without further ado, let's get right into it. This is I'm going to show the main deck, the extra deck, and then also what I use on the side. Not a big side deck, but you know, you got to have whatever you have, you know. So let's see here. We start off with, um, oh, my bad. Three princes. Not two. Two's, two's bad. Mandatory three uh, for the normal summon. Add a card from the deck to hand, and then for the discard, special summon um, an Atlantean monster, right? Yeah, that's about it. So, you know, it also comes in clutch with uh, the Dragoons. You mainly use it to search the Dragoons. Uh, you never want to really search the other Atlantean cards. Uh, search Dragoons, and then Dragoons effects, you know, when it's discarded. Special summon. Uh, you can special summon this guy back here, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Mandatory 3 and 3. Uh, the last Lanium monsters I'm running are uh, two Infantries. Infantries I like for the pop ability uh, when it's discarded. It also has that extra normal summon when you normal summon it, but you mainly don't want to use it for that because that's a waste of a normal summon, to be completely honest. Um, yeah. I run two. I don't run three. I might drop it down to one. Uh, just still playtesting it. Um, getting a lot of inf like advice from a bunch of friends and stuff at my locals that have played the deck and really know what they're talking about instead of me just going blabbling around of what I'm what I'm trying to play test. Uh, I don't run the Spearman. Um, I forgot what it does, to be completely honest, but I don't think I would run the Spearman. Uh, they just said infantry is much better than the Spearman. You get to pop the card. I think Spearman pops uh, Spell and Traps, if I'm not mistaken, but you can always you can always look it up. Then I got the Mermail stuff. I got the three Megalos, the three Tias, two Pikes, Two Gundies, and then one Mander. Uh, Megalo, straightforward. Discard two, special summon it. It can attack twice if you uh, pop another water monster on your field. Cool, cool. And then uh, Tias, discard one, special summon it. And then, um, what else does it do? I forgot. <laughs> uh, yeah, it uh, adds also a level four Mermail monster so you can search these guys from your deck to hand. Uh, maybe not Mander. Mander, you would rather draw into it uh, later game, not like, you know first turn uh pike pike for the normal summon uh you can discard ditch it and then you can add a level three uh water monster from deck to hand so you ditch um uh, say you ditch uh mander or whatever you could special you could search uh gundy and then say you have like a ts in your hand or, or if you want to link away and stuff like that you know they all revolve themselves uh gundy special summons any mermail monster from your grave back to the field uh uh, excuse me. Uh, Pike is the searcher. And then Mander. Mander is just there for like increasing levels. So you can go into rank 8s and rank 9s into this deck. Um, I wanted to run, uh, what's it called? Uh, what's that card's name? Hard Earth Dragon, number 92, I think. Yeah, just for that, uh, banish every card your opponent's set. Or uh, basically play normal summon set. Or face up or something like that. Banish it. And then um, every battle damage you get. It, they take it instead and it has zero zero so it's pretty 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 janky i remember i used to run it back in the blue eyes when i had uh that old blue eyes deck uh with um what is it uh the structure deck i can't remember the name of that synchro monster but it'll hit me one day let's see i got the rodent totem Duke frog and then of course the three uh mr swaps uh rodent totem for the special summon say you'd uh Banish Dew Frog, Special Summon Rodent Toten. Swap Frog, just because, you know, for the Special Summon, discard a uh, Water Monster, Special Summon it. And uh, then you can also ditch a monster to the uh, grave. So, yeah. And then also because it, it pops a monster back into your hand. I like to pop back a uh, Swap or whatever I have on, on field, to be honest. It really depends. Then I also run the Genix, Genix build. And with the Genix combo, I do uh, the Rosenix. So Undyne, normal summon it, ditch a uh, water monster from deck to graveyard. You mainly want to do uh, Rosenix. Uh, Rosenix effect, when it's in grave, uh, banish it, and then get a token out. You can use the token to link. That's pretty much that's pretty much all Rosenix is here for. Let's see. Also, we have uh, three Angler, Nimble Angler, uh, two Beaver, one Sunfish. Never want to see Sunfish in hand. God, I hate seeing that card in hand. But luckily, I have something in the deck that, you know, 
lets me uh, shove it back into the deck. If you guys know what I'm talking about, then you guys know. Um, I'll show it in a little bit. Uh, but with the Angler, Angler, you like to... Uh, that could also combo off with uh, Genix. You could do Genix and Angler, and then you could special summon um, Beaver and Sunfish from deck. It says up to two. I like doing the two, so that's why I never want to see this card in hand. Uh, Beaver, when it's normal summon, just a special summon a level three or lower Nimble Monster from Grave. But you mainly want to use uh, Angler. That's why I run three. And then Sunfish, are, uh, he's just there. He's just there for the extra special summon. So the one ofs, I got the uh, Mong uh, Monglacia. I got an Ibli, and then I got a Deep Sea Diva. Ibli for the Nightmare plays. Um, I am running the little Nightmare Link Engine in there. Uh, Mongolia, or Monglacia, Mongolia. Uh, hungry, sorry. But um, he's there because Gumblar's banned, so I mean, if we still rip out two from the hand, that's always perfectly fine. And then Deep Sea Diva, Tuner, and then it's a it's special summons. Uh, say you can special summon, what's his face? Uh, Dragoons, or anything under level three. You can even do infantry, but you mainly want to do Dragoons for like a level 5 play or something like that. Hand Traps, I'm doing um, two uh, Ash Blossoms. Um, I have the third sided. I'm running two right now, but I might add three Veilers. Keep in mind, this is a 43 card deck, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Veiler just has much more potential now. Uh, I mean, if you have the Infinite and Permanence, go ahead and run those, but I'm just going to wait till they get reprinted, so yeah. I'll, I'll be on that ship waiting for them. But yeah, right now, Ash Blossom, I'm probably going to add uh, three Veilers, just like I said. Just because it's much stronger. Just in matchups and, you know, like Salomon Grades. It's always good to have some a whole lot of hand traps against them. So, yeah. Second Light, last card, or last three of the deck. This is what I was talking about with the Sunfish, if I could find them. Where is he? Say I have these cards in hand, I do not worry at all. Because uh, if I have Sunfish, and then I have Sekka's Light, and then I have, you know, whatever else in hand, I draw two, banish Sekka's Light, send this back, uh, shuffle it back into the deck, draw one card. It's it's just here for the draw power, to be honest. So yeah, that's the, um, what's it called? That's the main deck. I'll move on to the extra, or the, not the extra deck, the side deck first, and then I'll show the extra deck. So, side deck, it's not that big. I mean, I got the... Um, the extra Ash Blossom. I got a Monster Reborn here. A one for one. Pretty good plays. Uh, three Called Buys. And then I got the um, Abyss Sphere. Just in case. I mean, it's always fun to run that card. And then I have also, my buddy was like, I'll just throw this in there. I was like, okay, never mind. You know, whatever. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, besides this, uh, the Sphere. Pretty good for the special summoning. I mean,. You can get a free special summon and then uh, link away or exceeds away or whatever you want. Um, let's see. Call buys, self explanatory, honestly. Call buys, uh, they ash you or Valor you or um, Joel and Lockbird you. You just call by them. And then they have no outs to it. So, you know, everyone should be running Call by the Graves. Uh, let's see here. The one for one, ditch something and then uh, special summon the, the Prince. Pretty much what it's there for. Uh, Monster Reborn, self-explanatory. And then the third Ash, just because if something goes down, you know, got to get the third Ash in there. But that's probably, I'm just going to run two, two and three. Two Ashes and then two, uh, or three Veilers. I mean, you could always side out the, the third Angler. Let's see what else you would side out for. Side out that, Mander. You could always side out a Pike. And then sometimes you could just side out an Infantry. But the main side out thing, if you want to use those cards, side out these three. Honestly, if you guys don't like the Sekka's build, I know a lot of people are not a big fan of it. Just side these three out. Always put in other uh, pluses that uh, can help your deck flow. So that's the main deck and side deck. Extra deck, um, nothing too special. I, I say that now, but I'm about to drop this. Uh, Link 4s, I got a Boral Sword. Got Boral Load. Just the generic, I guess, Link 4s. Uh, big plays, uh, Summon Sorceress, you know, when you have her out, um, special summon another water monster and then just climb up the link ladder, basically. I got the One Phoenix and then the Mermaid. Mermaid, uh, that's why I run the Ibli. So I was like, you know what, screw it. Might as well do that. And then the draw, so when it's co-linked. 
and then the uh, Reproductus um, helps me get out into uh, what's her face um, summon sorceress and then the last two I got is uh, Miss Star Boy and Underclock Taker. I might take out Underclock Taker, put something else in there, but this is all what I'm working with right now, so I'm just gonna deal with it. Let's see, and then I got uh, Ixies. Obviously, you gotta run the totally awesome card. Ooh, excuse me, Abyss Dweller. Abyss Dweller is huge, this format, uh, just to negate effects in the graveyard, so that's amazing when uh, you detach it. So is it e during either player's turn? Yep. So. Do that, and you're good. Bahamut Shark. Might cut him. Might put in a big eye or something. Uh, but Bahamut Shark's pretty cool. I mean, if you have, like, um, like totally awesome in there. But, like, honestly, that probably will never happen where I'm like, oh, yeah, I can go Bahamut Shark, and then, ha-ha, special summon, totally awesome. It, it could happen. It has happened before. But, eh, might, might put in a big eye or a Draco Sack or something like that. And then Synchros, I'm running a Coral Dragon. He just looked cool, so I was like, you know what, I'll probably just run him. But uh, you can always target a card on the field and destroy it. And then if this card is sent to the graveyard, I mean, you can draw one card. So it's not that bad. And then I got the Yazi. Everyone knows what Yazi does. If you don't, let me refresh you. So it has two effects. You can target a Yangzing monster you control and one card your opponent controls and destroy them. You could always target this and then target something else and destroy it. Or when this card uh, you control is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon a worm type monster from your deck and defense position. So you mainly want to just use the first effect if you want to get rid of something. So it's not that bad. And then last, I run the Trishula. Trishula just because, you know, she's Trish. And uh, to banish a card from hand, field, and graveyard is pretty damn big unless they're like oh that's cool we're salomon gray we can get over anything but yeah that's uh my deck profile if you guys have any ideas of how to make the deck better i would love to know just leave a comment down below and then let me know what else you guys want to see next i just thought i'd share this because i'm still playtesting this deck um this is a deck i kind of wanted to build for a while and then you know my buddy was like hey i got this mermail core and i was like no way i'll pick it up from you so that's pretty much what happened so anyways yeah if you guys did enjoy the video just leave a like or whatever uh subscribe for more uh bell notifications i guess is what they're doing nowadays so yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video peace